There are so many steps involved in a government website redesign, but the first one is to actually look at your own website and collect data. Looking at a lot of government websites out there, I think a lot of people skip this step. It takes a little extra effort, but it can make your government redesign so much more meaningful. Your government website is very important to your citizens, so you have a big responsibility. And with great power comes great responsibility. This is really itchy. One of the first steps in collecting your website data is to look at your web traffic. This is where you'd look at your Google Analytics or maybe you have a built-in web metrics program in your content management system. You're gonna look at things like what content is most popular, what content is least popular, what are the entrance pages, what are the exit pages. All of this is gonna help you down the line making informed decisions on what to include and to highlight on your future site. You're also gonna to wanna to look at the data from whatever search tool you use internally on your website. What you're looking for here is what the popular search terms are and you're going to use this information for your website redesign. You're going to use those same words in things like your page titles, your content, your keywords, your metadata. It's going to help your users but it's also going to help you in external search engines as well. It's all about making the citizen happy. Another type of data that's important to start collecting for your government redesign is transactional data. We're talking about things like sewer payments, job applications, service requests, license renewals. We want a transaction count and a dollar value amount so you know what types of services people are using on your website so you can set your goals for how to improve those numbers and to add on new services. You're also going to want to collect some feedback data because everyone loves to say, let me tell you what I think about that. You can create a questionnaire for free using services like surveymonkey.com. I like that one in particular because if you have 10 questions or less, it's absolutely free. Ask people about their experience on your website, what they would improve, what services they'd like to see. Get onto all your social accounts and ask people there what they think about your website as well. And finally, usability studies are an important part of collecting user feedback. Usability studies measure user experience. Could they find the stuff they were looking for on your website? Was it easy for them? How many clicks did they have to go in on the web page? Where did they logically think that something might be located on your website? These are all questions that you're going to figure out in a usability study. I don't think that usability studies are going to cost a lot of money because they're actually surprisingly cost effective because you only have to test like five people seriously and you can still get an accurate picture of what the majority of people experience when they visit your website. A good place to start in learning about usability testing is to follow Jacob Nielsen. He has an email newsletter that you can sign up for. He shares a lot of tips. He's basically a well-known usability expert. Another type of data you want to do your groundwork and collect is internal feedback. And this is the perfect time to create that internal team with a point person from each department who's going to help you share the load in this website redesign. There's so much more to cover in the area of government website redesign that this is definitely going to be a topic that I'm going to cover more. So subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and make sure and use hashtag GovGirl in your tweets so I can find you. We'll see you next time. Superstar. I'm totally going to wear this for Halloween.